Well, there's been a lot of snow of late. I certainly had good eight inches in my back garden last night. So with that in mind, let's take one final look at the weather with Jack Scott. Good evening to you. Well, if you watched last night's program, this uh, chart will come as no surprise to you. As expected, we have the uh, depression over the southern North Sea there, filling up, still going away eastwards, no longer a threat to our weather. There's a little bit of cloud tailing uh, just behind it as it goes away. The next system coming in is this fellow. The depression will go somewhere west of Norway there. The warm front has already got some uh, rain and sleet in the northern parts of Scotland. But the cold front will have rather more rain and snow on it as it, on it, as it comes away southwards, and uh, it is coming southwards. By tomorrow at noon, you can expect to see the fronts there coming through the middle part of the country with showery northwesterlies coming in behind. So as far as tomorrow's weather is concerned, in the northern part of Scotland, northwestern Scotland anyway, by then you'll have a fair number of snow showers coming through and you'll have uh, sunshine in between these showers, quite a strong northwesterly wind and a cold northwesterly wind as well. So you can expect it to be quite cold in that particular area tomorrow. But the southernmost part of England looks as though it'll stay dry and fairly bright for a time right through the day. In these areas, temperatures perhaps a degree higher than today, but nevertheless, still on the cold side. That's it. Good night. Well, it's coming up to 25 minutes to one, and it's time for all of us here behind the scenes at BBC Two to go to bed, uh, uh, separately. Uh, so this is me, Ian McGuffin, wishing you a very peaceful night, and... Uh,